my guys, look at that. That is a Maduka drinking nectar. I put one on the bottom today because I have a few that have wing issues. See the proboscis right in the nectar. That's a beautiful thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, <laughs> almost got out. <laughs> that was cool, very cool, very, very cool. Yeah, so that's my enclosure. I've got about, um, I've got about nine, I think, in there right now. And right about this time, um, as you can see, well, maybe you can't see. It's just now getting ready for early evening here in the south. And um, yeah, as soon as I turn off the plant light, um, which I did a minute ago, that's usually when they start feeding. So, um, and I just put fresh nectar in. I make my own nectar um, for those of you who wanna, wanna try on your own. I basically use, um, Dechlorinated water, I make it warm, not hot. Um, I just use cane sugar. Um, I use or coconut sugar or um, let's see what else, honey, any kind of honey. Um, and then I put, a, um, I squeeze an orange in there. They are attracted to the certain things and one of them is almond, uh, the smell of almonds is what their favorite, favorite, favorite plant is. Uh, it's what it, the primary scent of it is. So anyway, I'm gonna do a whole segment on that, but basically um, their nectar should be fresh. It should be sweet, obviously, and healthy. I even put one drop of electrolytes in there, but don't give them Gatorade. My electrolytes are, are pure electrolytes and um, Anyway, but I'm gonna do a whole segment on that because I think that it's so much fun uh, breeding your own hornworms that I'd like to see more people doing it. They charge so much out there for hornworms. Uh, you'd think they were lobster, but I think if, if you can just get the, the enclosure part down, you can literally, um, you can do this. If I can do it, believe me, you can do it. So I'd like to see more people breeding their own. Um, and it's a kick, it's really a kick when they, when they emerge and they're drying off their wings the first day and then you put them in the enclosure and they start drinking. It's just a really great feeling knowing you're gonna get eggs. You're gonna get a lot of eggs and that's a whole other topic as well, like how to scoop them up and when to scoop them up and the eggs themselves are the coolest looking things. Anyway, if you like what you see, um, hit the thumbs up button and uh, have a blessed day. Remember, God is good. I'll talk to you soon.